Welcome back to Finnegan's Garage. This is gonna be a killer episode. Before we get started, do me a favor. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and tell your friends to do the same. Now, onto the cool stuff. This episode was made possible by a partnership between myself and Dollar Shave Club, a company that as a Yeti, I totally believe in. They have everything you need for showering, oral care, deodorants, and yes, shaving your face, which is something I pretty much gotta do every day to keep my neck from connecting to my eyebrows. Yeah, get that image out of your head. Check this out, Dollar Shave Club's Ultimate Shave Starter Set. It's got everything. Inside, you get an executive handle. It's weighted for perfect control while shaving. You get two cartridges. That's two weeks worth of shaving right there. Each cartridge has six blades built into it for the ultimate and close shaving. It comes with Dr. Carver's Prep Scrub. This will exfoliate your skin, prevent ingrown hairs. Dr. Carver's Shave Butter. This will help you get an even smoother, closer shave without razor burner bumps. And when you're done shaving, one ounce of Dr. Carver's Post Shave Dew is all you need to keep your skin moisturized. Although not in the starter set, Dollar Shave Club did send me its post shave cream. This stuff is awesome. It will keep your face moisturized all season long. And right now, if you visit dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Finnegan, you can get the ultimate shave starter set for only five bucks. You can also get any other things you need to round out your grooming routine. After that, a restock box will ship full size products at the regular price. Thanks. And right now, Epic road trip. You're going to love this. Watch. I don't know what time it is, but Newburn and I are about to get on an airplane from Atlanta and go to Iowa in February, where right now it's minus nine degrees. So we're gonna go pick up another truck. A yeah. limo. We need another truck. <laughs> it's a truck limo. You'll see. And this is my favorite part of the airport right here. It's so peaceful. And that's what you want right before you fly to meet a total stranger to buy their limo truck in the dead of winter. What's on your mind? How are you feeling? Tired. I was a little cold this morning, then I was like, mm, I better not start that, you know. Don't get sick, that cab's not big enough. Considering where we're going. It's like in the negative. So. Yeah, I don't actually believe like temperature affects whether you have a cold or not. You're not getting a cold besides kiddies on his way here. I'm ready. I can't believe we're going to Iowa to buy a truck where Kibby lives and then Kibby happens to be on the plane we're on going to Iowa. It's minus nine there. The high is 18 today. I hope that he works on the truck. That's <laughs> Okay, we're boarding. I don't see Kibby. Will he make it? I don't know. He's gonna be running down the hallway in just a second. It'll be great if he's running down the hallway trying to make this connection. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Kibby, where are you? I feel like it would be wrong to enter the state of Iowa without him with us. Know, right? yeah. We're at the back of the bus. Right by the crapper. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Time for adventure. Let's go.
we're in Des Moines, Iowa. Slightly colder than it was in Georgia because this is where we had to fly to go look at the new project. And um, by pure coincidence, Kibby, Bob Kibby, my partner, Bill Kibby and Finnegan Show podcast, happened to be taking the same flight from Atlanta to Des Moines as we were and graciously offered to drive us to go look at this truck, which is like an hour away. Except it's so cold here that his late model GMC badass pickup will not run because it is a brick. The diesel it is, fuel it is a brick. The diesel fuel has gelled because it's been dropping down to like minus ten here at night. I think it's I don't know, it feels like zero right now. So no, it's it's awful. It's yeah. truly terrible. We're so gonna, now we're, we're gonna rent a car. We're gonna go rent a car and then uh, try to go find the new project. Ten miles to go. We're almost there. Kibby, I'm really glad that you came with us and not just because you brought a getaway car. Yeah, me too. I don't want you guys to die. I don't either. I mean, I, I trust this guy. I trust everybody. Iowa it's... people are very honest. This, this guy might not be, but... Even though he's not here, and he's just going to the shop. Yeah, that part's yeah. weird. He, so, um, I've been texting with the seller, and he's like, uh... I'm gonna make a delivery real quick while you're on your way. I probably won't be there when you get there. Just go in the barn. Uh, it's unlocked. Okay. Okay. Again, I would be very honest. Very trusting too. Apparently, just go in the barn. Keys are in it. I don't know. I don't know if the keys are there, so I don't. I don't know if we're test driving it. But uh, we are. we can look it over. So Kibby's uh, GMC pickup broke, so he rent a Dodge Charger, which is nice. Yes. Let's hear the exhaust. Let's not rear end that truck. <laughs> it does sound good. It does sound good. Dude, Dodge got it right with the exhaust note. It really did. Ooh, ramp truck. That's where? Right there. It was a rollback, but that was a ramp truck. Well, I guess technically, rollback's not really a ramp truck. I think that's why I don't get rollbacks ever, because they're too much like tow trucks. But a, a rollback, not a ramp truck. Does this truck have a bed on it? It does. It's got like a fifth wheel bed. Like That's for, for, for towing a trailer. This one's not a Ram truck. Oh. Nor is it a limo. And I think I figured out what the difference between limo and six door truck is, right? Mm -hmm. There's no divider between the driver and whoever's in is in the back, right? Yeah. So everyone's a part of the journey in the six door truck. Not limo. Like a big station bike. Yeah. yeah. reference for how big a six-door F800 Ford is. I've never even seen one in real life, so it's going to be amazing. This is amazing. Man, the paint is really clean. Looks nice. It looks very nice. What do you I think they made... So that's the full-size front door. These are different sizes. This thing is a unicorn. This, okay, I want you to understand what this is. Yes, six door F800, but it has a 5.9 Cummins with a seven speed manual gearbox and only 30,000 miles. It's like brand new.
got a couple small things. Yeah. I don't see anything major wrong with it, though. It's 20 years old. And it's super nice for 20 years old. Yeah. Are you concerned with uh, the vacuum issue? I don't know. I, I think that's weird that how, like, when you floor it, the heater shuts off. You know? But. You know, as long as it stops pissing cooling everywhere and we don't melt the thing down on the way home, seems like it'd be alright. It is interesting that we roll in here and there's already kitty litter on the floor. <laughs> that, that was from before. Yeah, maybe that was just when he changed the oil. He, he missed missed the pan or something. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that's a sign. Run, run. Oh, it's so cold outside. You basically just bought a semi. Dude, we bought the right school bus ever! <laughs> this is amazing. We just flew to Iowa from Georgia in February and we bought a six door F800. We didn't get catfished. I'm we so did. excited. This truck actually exists and we actually bought it and we're driving away in it. We didn't get car fished for once. Right. Not doing it. Ooh. Not doing it. No, no. Just keep going. Not, not look, at the, look at the patina of that thing. I know. It's amazing. But we're running out of space. I've never had a seven speed manual. It's fun. Yeah. First few gears are useless. Because this Cummins doesn't really want to rev past about 2300. It stops. Yeah. Is there anything we can do to like change that like on the fly? Like, can we. We'll call the dudes at Power Driven Diesel, but I'm pretty sure there's a governor kit that we could put on it so that it would rev for more. Are you putting a new baby? Yeah. We gotta go right past Cotton's house. He has no idea we're doing this. We're gonna go surprise him and see yeah. what kind of, uh, we'll see how redneck he thinks we are. Oh man, I can't wait. Can you imagine his reaction when we show up with a six door? We're five hours away. Alright, so we'll drive to New Baden, Illinois tonight. We don't go see him tonight because no. it'll be dark out. Let's get a hotel. We First thing in the morning, let's just show up. Yeah, yeah. Let's find out if he actually works. Yeah. Let's not tell him. Let's just show up. I don't think he'll like, get out of bed until like 2 o'clock. I bet you he doesn't. truck on the wet ground trying to bypass the factory dual tank switching solenoid because we're not sure that thing's functioning properly we'll see if that fixes the problem we still have rust in the tanks that we know but maybe the switcher is clogged up or something so we're going to bypass that and give that a shot 
uh, once again while in the rain, sitting in the shoulder, just below the bridge we nearly died on today. It's like five degrees here, huh? I ain't doing that again. The, the low was minus nine, the high was going to be 18 today. <laughs> Which is why we're going back to Georgia. The stupid tin, I couldn't get the Missouri sign. That's it, I'm over it. Ah! No more oh, tin. So Look at that, you can see now. Wow. Stupid tinted windshield. Because of you, I didn't get the Missouri sign. Wow, I can see much better. <laughs> hey, what's going on, dude? What are you doing? Oh. Just hanging out. What are you doing? Sitting here waiting for something to show up here. It hasn't shown up? No. Oh, no way. What time is it? It is now 7.14. Oh, dude, it should have been there by now. All right, let me track it. Uh, let me track it. I'll call you right back. All right, hold on. <laughs> uh, it might have got a little delayed by weather coming from Iowa, you know? All right, so Cotton, um, it's my fault he's at his shop. I, I don't even know if he works Fridays, but I told him he had something gonna arrive today. And uh, we've decided we're not gonna show up there tonight because it'll be dark out and then he won't be able to see really how amazing this truck is. And so uh, I think I'm gonna call him back, tell him UPS delayed it, but said they do early Saturday morning delivery. So now he's gotta go back to his shop on a Saturday. <laughs> I don't know if he works Saturdays either, so that might suck for him. And then uh, we're going to keep driving. We'll get into New Baden, Illinois, where he lives tonight in about three hours from now. And then we'll stay at a motel, get up in the morning when it's daylight, and then reveal this monster to him. Huh? What did he send me? I don't know, dude. Yes, you do, dude. I can tell it in your voice. I don't know, man. <sighs> See, I don't like you either. He's like, hey, I call him up. I'm like, hey, what's up? But he's like, what's up? <laughs> I'm like, um... Uh, he goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm still waiting for that thing to get here. He's like, what? It should have been there. I was like, nope. And then he checked it. He goes, it'll be early morning tomorrow morning. I was like, ugh. <laughs> he goes, you know, like 8 o'clock. I was like, ugh. That's ridiculous. He goes, well, I just don't want to sit outside. So I said, okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. I think you'll probably like it. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm sure you'll probably yes, like it. Yes, you do. Why do you lie? I'm sure you'll probably like it. Why do you lie? You you are the worst liar ever, dude. Uh, I I don't know what it is, but I'm if it if he went out of his way to send it to you, and it's supposed to come there, and I'm sure you'll I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You know I'm appreciative of anything. So, but you know what I told him? I was like, just tell me it ain't no upside down like pineapple knocker. And he starts laughing. <laughs> He's like, no. He goes, it's not a gag. I was like, uh huh. Okay. Yeah, just make it. You never know. Well, hey, there's Amber calling. Miss Miss Juice, I'll call you back. You guys are killing me. I was talking to him and he hung up on me too. Uh, bye. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you clearly. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh, Michael Wayne Cotton, we love you. <laughs> Just remember that. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> what do I do with the keys? Smell coolant. Well, the heater just shut off and the truck just pegged the temp gauge. I smell a lot of coolant. That's not good. Oh. Time to freeze. I'll, uh, give me a second. <laughs> you hey, I'll be in here. Don't go out there right yet. I'm gonna uh, put my coveralls on, then I'll come join you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh my All right. This is coming out of the radiator. So basically. It blew a head gasket and it's shoving oil into the coolant passage therefore mixing it in the radiator there's no oil on the dipstick 
and now the radiator is just flat full of oil and coolant. The AAA roadside assistance. <laughs> so that we may service you faster, please remain seated while you can select from the following four options at any time. If you need battery service, press 1. If you need a tow, press 2. For, please hold for the next available service representative. And will you be waiting outside with your vehicle? Yes. And the year, make, model, and color of your vehicle? It is a 1998 Ford F800 pickup. F800? Yes. It is white and red. Right and red. Bear with me a quick moment here. Let me run this through my system to make sure this vehicle is covered. Oh, okay. Has it been lifted or modified? Lifted? No. Stock height. So it's stock? Yes, ma'am. At some point, you're going to have to tell her to bring a big ass truck. I'm looking at are attached to box trucks, and but yours is just a pickup, correct? Right, there's no box on the back of it. <laughs> there's no, there's no box. <coughs> and it, does it have dual wheels? It does have dual wheels, yes. You'll need a, you know, I guess a pretty a decent, flatbed. yeah, pretty decent sized flatbed for this. Okay. Let me speak to my dispatch team to see if I put this under RV or not, because of the size of this truck, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you for the Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been lifted or modified? I didn't think about the modified part. I forgot about the six doors. I was just like, no, it's not lifted at all. It's stock. It's stock. <laughs> my stock 30,000 mile 12 now blew up. Ugh. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's now hoodie weather. It gets cold in here. Let's do a temperature check. It's 14. It's 14 degrees.